Hi, and welcome to this series on AWS Tutorial Putting Items onto a DynamoDB Table. If you haven't already watched part 1 where we created a table and also implemented a DynamoDB client, then make sure you visit the first tutorial which is in the description below. Ok, so now we've created a table, we now want to put items onto our table. So first we're going to create another endpoint, I'm going to create an attribute route put items I'm going to say public with a return type of i action result and put item and we're going to pass in the parameters of what we're going to actually add into our table we're going to pass it in from a from query going to pass in the ID and we're going to pass in the reply date time. We're going to create some classes soon called put items so let's pretend that we have that already. And we're going to pass it the ID and the reply date time. And if that's successful We'll return OK. Let's declare our put item up on top. And now we're going to create the interface and the classes that we need in our Dynamo Libs Dynamo DB folder. So we're going to right click and say add new item. First of all, our class. And also an interface. We'll make sure those are public. We're going to implement our interface here. And now we're going to make sure that we have injected it inside our startup.cs file. Going back to put item, now we want to create the code needed to actually uh, add the items to our Dynamo table. So first of all we're going to create a query, then we're going to use that query to input the data inside our Dynamo table. So let's start off by creating a method which is going to be async, add new entry, I'm going to pass in the ID, and also the reply date time. going to build the query request and we're going to create a new method to actually build that request. So we're going to pass it in the ID, reply date time, We're going to have a return type of put item request. And here we can start to build our actual request. So we can say var item equals new dictionary. string and an attribute value. I'm going to say what our column names are, which the first one is ID. And 
new attribute value. In for number. And we're going to make sure we two string the ID. And our second column we're going to input is the reply date time. So these names here match up to the column names that we created in our create table. Fix up some of the syntax here. And we want to return a new put item request. And we want to grab what our table name was. Let's go back into our create table. Here you can see a bit of duplicate, so it might be good to create a constant or something like that that will actually um, reduce duplication. Okay, so now we've built our um, item request, we can now look at how we want to actually put the item onto the Dynamo table. So let's create the next method. And we want to say wait, put item request, put item async, and we're going to pass in the query request that we built just before. And now we're going to also create the method. And in the parameters, we're going to pass it in the put item request. And we also need to pull on the Dynamo client as well. Now remember we created our Amazon DB client in our startup.cs file. We covered this in the in the part one of the tutorial where we created the table. So I want to initialize that in the constructor. And now we have access to it. And now we want to add our public methods to our interface. Going back to our DynamoDB controller, you can now see that add new entry calls off to our put item class. Let's make sure that we've initialized the put item also in our constructor. We'll build this, run it. Grab the port number, head over to Postman, and what we're going to do is call off to our API DynamoDB put items. Now our ID for our query is going to be 2, and the reply date time we're going to have it in ticks, which is the following. Click send, we've got 200 OK. Head along to DynamoDB, 
And there we are. It's inputted now into our Dynamo table. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please remember to hit like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up with all my latest YouTube tutorials.